Morning, folks. This is Alex Klingelhafer from Accenture Wealth Advisors, OKC CFA, CFP on Twitter, uh, with today's morning jog around the headlines uh, of the economic world. It is 624 uh, Central Time here in the middle part of the country. And uh, here's what's showing up on my blotter. Uh, first and foremost here, we've got uh, the U.S. House is going to take up the Senate's uh, $1.9 trillion economic package uh, Wednesday. Speaker Pelosi has, has made that commitment. Not a lot of changes to the bill uh, from, from the one that was passed uh, in the Senate. Again, uh, they think they're going to vote on that uh, here on Wednesday. That would be March 10th. Uh, next, overnight, the OECD came out with some new projections uh, for uh, the global growth outlook. And the OECD, really, it's the, the European uh, body that, that measures economic growth. And they're, they're moving forecasts up, uh, which we've been saying here over the last two to four weeks. As we get good news about shots in arms, we're going to see economic projections rise, that's gonna, gonna lead to growth in asset prices typically. That's gonna be a uh, very bullish. Uh, here we've got the world economy at 5.6% growth uh, for the next year. That is certainly uh, tremendous growth. Of course, we, we fell about 3% last year. The, the interesting number uh, that they posted was the US growth number. Uh, let me see if I can find it here, yeah. They have the U.S. at 6.5% this year, 4% next year. I can't tell you the last time we had 6.5% growth uh, in the U.S. here. And that's from an earlier forecast of, of about 35 That is a huge, tremendous change. We're getting more shots in arms faster. We're getting everyone vaccinated uh, by the end of May. We're going to see some things opening up. Everybody's going to be vaccinated that that wants one, we're gonna see some return to normalcy. And I, I think it's tremendous. The, the vaccination program is, is going faster than really anyone expected. And we're starting to see that in economic outlooks and quite frankly, starting to see that in economic life as business sales uh, move up, as gasoline uh, is starting to, uh, to pour into folks' cars, folks are moving around. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of great stuff there. Uh, some interesting uh, stocks coming across the, 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 the water. Here's an old friend, GameStop. Uh, it was up, uh, what, you know, up to you know, 300 some odd dollars a few weeks ago. Well, look at this. It's rearing its head again. Uh, $213 a share in pre-market action. Uh, another big short squeeze from, from the Wall Street bets crowd. Uh, you know, things echo, right? You know, stocks, they go up, they come, come back down, and they, they, they shoot back up. And, you know, this is just, I mean, uh, tremendous. I, I don't see how GameStop hasn't uh, raised equity at any point in here, just given the valuation here at a, you know, 13 some trillion dollar market, uh, excuse me, billion dollar market cap. Uh, but, uh, but, but an interesting story, uh, nonetheless, it, it just shows you know, if you, if you have a company with a small market cap, high uh, short float, you can you can have technical disruptions in the market that send it uh, wildly up and down. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see if those those mean stocks continue to, to, to rise throughout the week, if that sort of comes back into vogue, uh, or if, uh, if if they do see some, some retreat that's just sort of a, a secondary wave. Anyway, I, I thought that was pretty pretty interesting that we're seeing these these uh, meme stocks come back. Uh, if you missed it from yesterday, a couple of couple of uh, uh, little items. New York City uh, is going to return to the classroom on, on March 22nd, which is great. Um, you know, just again seeing that reopening theme, folks coming back. I mean, that's a, a pretty uh, you know, cautious area of the country when it comes to uh, to policy. So I think if uh, if, if you know, New York City is reopening, we're certainly going to see reopening across uh, the rest of the country. And uh, isn't that great? You know, seeing folks back in school as long as they're doing it safely, uh, and, and hopefully getting everybody vaccinated there. Uh, lastly, in case you missed it, Tesla is building a new battery for the uh, Texas grid. Uh, again, Tesla is a select list name, um, and uh, and it's going to be a hundred megawatt 
project in Angleton. Of course, they have that big battery project in Australia. This is part of the company's long-term strategy to integrate itself into the US and worldwide uh, power grid. Not a huge overall number, 100 megawatts when you talk about electricity is not that big of a project, but you know, if, if you know, if they sort of exponentially take that up, maybe their next projects, uh, uh, you know, a gigawatt project and, and you know, suddenly they're doing 200,000 homes. It will be very interesting to see how that uh, sort of technology takes off and, and integrates itself into the rest of the US power grid. You know, hopefully that'll make renewables uh, somewhat more uh, sustainable through events like we had uh, last week. Um, that's what I had uh, for today. Hope your rest of your uh, Tuesday goes well. I'm out.